We are going to see more sun shine there 48 degrees on Thursday. We're going to hit a high of about 49 on Friday and we're still staying a little bit mild. I'd say heading into next weekend, partly cloudy for next Saturday. So you do get a nice brighter weekend to look forward to with a high of around 45 degrees. So again, temperatures fairly consistent in the 40s, but we're drying out, which is something that'll be really nice to have here in the tri-state. All right, let's send it back to you, Peyton. Well, February is right around the corner, which means it's almost time to celebrate Black History Month. Well, the Freedom Center is already getting in on the festivities with a number of events really all month long. I'm here with Cody. First of all, can you tell us a little bit more about what they're offering? Yeah, so Black History Month, we have a full month of programming at the Freedom Center starting February 2nd. Uh, and since it's a leap year, going all the way through February 29th. So a lot of opportunities. Uh, to get involved, to really dig into uh, to some material in a deeper way. Obviously, you can always visit the museum, but uh, the programming allows us to address different issues, different topics, and to bring in other perspectives as well. So February 2nd is our first event, and we are screening the documentary, Is That Black Enough For You? by filmmaker Elvis Mitchell, who will be there for the event following the screening uh, Elvis Mitchell is going to sit down with Emilio Estevez and T.T. Stern Inzi from the Over the Rhine International Film Festival, who we're partnering with on this, to discuss uh, representation in film. What's, what's the past? What's the present? What's the future hold for representation in film where so many of us get our stories, see ourselves, and, and kind of live our lives vicariously? Very cool. And those are some big names that you just listed off. Yeah, yeah. So Elvis Mitchell is a wildly respected film critic. Um, a director, a writer as well. Um, this program really came to us through Emilio, Emilio Estevez who had done uh, Elvis's podcast and was very familiar with this film and said, you guys have to bring this in. So we worked with the Over, Over the Rhine Film Festival uh, to make this happen and bring this in. And Emilio was like, I'm in, I, I, I wanna participate, I wanna get involved. How great, and you know, with this documentary, why is it so important to have this level of transparency? You know, we talk about Black History Month, but it's really American history. If you think of history as a resume, all of those experiences really give you perspective of where a nation, where people have been, and why they are where they are. So if everyone feels like black history is truly American history and they dig into it the way they would any other bit of history, it tells us a lot about where we are as a country, where we still have to go, but it puts the current moment in context. So. That's what we try to do every day at the Freedom Center, but especially this month during Black History Month. So the programming really does run a gamut, and it's not just about the black experience, it's about the American experience. Well said, and you know, when we're talking about this month, I know that there's a lot of events that the Freedom Center is happen having. Can you talk to me about a little more about what else is being offered? Sure, so we have a, a program February 15th called Why Kids Need Truthful History Classes. We see education a little under fire these days, uh, there's a lot of hands in that pot, a lot of cooks in that kitchen now. So it's really, really critical that kids are getting facts so that they can be their own history detectives and figure, uh, dig into that and figure out why we are where we are. But the facts are facts and they must remain the same. Uh, February 17th, we have another film screening called God Talk, which comes from the National Museum of African American History and Culture that talks about um, faith in black millennials. So it looks at seven different individuals, six different faiths, and what that means and how that's changed. And it's sort of changed less from this uh, capital G God to a lower G God and what faith means individually and personally rather than as a collective community. So people, millennials are forming communities in different ways and faith has become a very personal thing to them. And in looking at it in that way, we see it um, less as something that can set us apart from each other, but something that we can find common ground on. Well, and I like what you said. It gives this uh, kids an opportunity to be history detectives, yes. right? Because facts are facts. Well, thank you so much, Cody, yeah. for joining us. You can actually learn more about these events on our website at fox19.com. We'll take a live look outside. As Catherine and I have been talking, it's going to be another rainy day here in the Tri-State. We're going to have a look at today's forecast and top story.